Hey guys, um, this is part two of going home. Um, I'm back now, and I was talking about um, the big, um, the big thing that happened while I was at home, not being able to see my brother's kids. And you know, um, I'm going to talk to my counselor or my therapist on Thursday this week, and see what she see what she suggests. Um, you know. But really, there's nothing that I can do, you know. Um, she had suggested on the phone something like going through my dad or whatever. But my dad's totally upset about this. And he's so upset about it that, you know, I just, you know, there's nothing he can do. There's nothing I can do, and there's nothing I can say to them to change their mind. Because once their mindset is set, they are totally set on something. And there's nothing I can do. There's just nothing that anybody can do. So, I don't, I don't know. I just, you know, I mean, I know they're trying to protect their kids or whatever, but I'm never going to take another overdose, so nobody has to worry about that. I'm never going to do that again. Um, Dad said something around the realms that, and he said not to quote him, but, you know, I, I don't know. Um, that my brother thought that I didn't have a problem anyway, and that I should just go off all the medicine and I would be fine, and that I didn't have depression, and, and, um, all this and that. So, I guess I'm supposed to be okay and normal, guys. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. All I know that I care about right now is I just want to get my life back together. I want to get a new job. And yeah, I just want to get my life back together and get a new job and focus on me and get back to the gym, which I'm doing, which I haven't been to the gym since I left. So I haven't been to the gym since Thursday of yeah, when I left, so it's been a week, it's been a week and a day or something like that, so I've got to go back to the gym, and I go get my knee looked at this Friday, so we'll see what happens with that, and I did get a response back from, um, I have a job that I put in for, and I did get a response back that from that, and it said that it was going, it was being forwarded to, um, has been forwarded to the main office for a review. So the next thing that comes is a callback, is a call saying that you are going to get interviewed, or they call you and let you know if you're going to get an interview or some bullshit like that. So that's a plus. Um, but then I have to make the determination of whether, you know, if it's if if I go for an interview and they only like offer me a little bit amount of money. And I'm already making more on disability, then I have to decide, you know, I have to weigh the options. Because I'm not going to take it, you know, and then fail in that job or whatever. I'm just going to wait until the right job comes around, I guess, so to speak, um, before I make a move. Because I have to really be sure that I can do the job and everything before I come off disability. Plus, my doctor has to okay it. And so far, he hasn't okayed anything, so... Um, and once again, dear brother of mine, in case you're watching, um, I am trying to get my life back together and, um, get back to work and everything like that. And then the doctor hasn't okay me to go back to work, but I am trying to find work. And, um, as soon as I find the right job, then I will go back. Um, but I'm hoping to find a job that makes enough money that I can take care of everything and uh, not need any help from anybody. That's what I hope because uh, obviously there's not anything um, well I should I shouldn't say that. Um, I'll just leave that alone. Um, but anyway um, everybody while I was at home, everybody's like, well, don't you want to move back? Don't you want to move back? And Don't you want to move back so you can see your niece and nephews and be here and blah, 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 blah. And 
and aren't you missing home and blah 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 and I'm like you know my dad's here and I love my dad and I want to be with my dad and I'm like but what else is there you know I mean I don't have any friends here I can't see my brother and his wife I don't have any friggin friends there you know, I, I don't I don't have any friends where I, I mean I have friends where I live which is here. Okay. I don't have family here. But I do have friends here. And um for some reason I like it here. Um for some odd reason I like it here. God knows why. I don't know. I just I like it here. You know, I like my hometown but you know, I was there for a week, and damn, I'm glad to be home, or I'm glad to be here. You know, my home is there, but when I'm here, this is my home, and I am damn glad to be back. You know, I love my dad, I love being with him, but, you know, I'm glad to be home here. Um, if I could uproot my dad, and uproot the house and everything, and place it here, I would. Because I just, you know, I just, that's just the way I feel. And I'm just stressed about a bunch of stuff. Um, stressed about, you know, different things. Um, I don't even know how to say it. But while I was at home, I went to my mom's grave and I visited her grave. And I, I put some new flowers out. And they looked really, they look really good. Um. I didn't stay long. Usually I stay and I talk to her for a while. I know that sounds weird, but I stay and I talk to her for a while. But I just didn't um, talk to her this time because I didn't really want to get myself really, really upset. So I didn't talk to her this time. Um, I just um, basically put the flowers out and left. Um, I put some flowers on my grandmother's grave and my grandpa's grave too. Um, they're side by side, so, um, I, uh, did that as well, and they looked really pretty, so, um, we did that, me and Dad did that, and, um, I also had, um, lunch with my cousin, which I haven't seen probably since my mom's funeral, which was about 14 years ago, so, um, that went well. We had a good talk and everything, and, um, it was awesome. It was really good. And, um, I visited my uncle and aunt, um, which is my mom's brother and his wife, and we had a good time, which I was also my cousin, the cousin I saw, it's her dad. And, um, we all had a, we had a good visit, and, um, my dad did some, he worked during the day with my uncle, um, doing some stuff, and, um, of course, he went and picked up my brother's kid, well, not picked him up, but he went and stayed at their house, and waited till their bus got home from school and stuff, and I just basically stayed around the house, and, um, um, of course, Dad doesn't have much TV to watch, there's only, like, four channels, he doesn't get cable or anything like that, so it's pretty boring, and, um, I couldn't use my computer, because Dad doesn't have internet access, and, um, I went and tanned at this place they have, um, it's Sunham City. And it's a big corporate operation, I'm sure everybody knows of it. And they were total asses there, um, where I'm from, well, where I, I live right now, um, we're getting a Sunham City. It's a small town, um, of course I live just 20 minutes from a large town, a really large town. And, um, they have a Sundance City also, but this little town's getting a Sundance City too, which is probably going to wipe out, well, it might wipe out the small town, the small town tanning salons. And I belong to a small town tanning salon. Of course, I'm not going anywhere because they're great, and I love them. Uh, I know the owners and everything. But anyway, um, I'm fixing to run out of time again, and, um, I love tanning, by the way, but... I'll talk more about that later. I'm going to run out of time. So, anyway, I might make another tape real quick. So, see you guys. Bye.